Let's talk about a person's name. A person's name and how important a name is. <clears throat> a person is his or her name. Just as in English today, a reference in Hebrew to people's names names refer to their reputation and their character. In fact, we often speak of maintaining or restoring our good name, meaning our good reputation. Likewise, God's name stands for his character as embodied through his actions and his behavior. The meaning of God's name the way in which it revealed aspects of his character, the importance of people's bowing at the sound of his name and praising it, and its connection with God's reputation. These are all components of a great name theology in the Old Testament. God reveals his name in its many different forms and aspects as a way of inviting his people to live with him in a dynamic, intimate relationship. God's name tells us what kind of God he is. In fact, there are over 300 names for God given in the Bible. Why so many? Perhaps it is because no one name can adequately convey all that God is. Each is a revelation of the holy, sacred character of God. For example, God is a holy God. The only attribute of God repeated three times, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Isaiah 6, 3. When we say God is a holy God, that means that not only is he different, but that nothing can compare with him. He is distinct, he is unique, and he is one of a kind. He is God, and we are not. A sanctuary. A consecrated place. A place of refuge, a place of protection. With God, we find sacredness and peace and calmness, protection and refuge from a world that has hurt us and abused us. Coming to God is like coming home where we know we are safe, we are accepted, and we are loved. And... There is nothing we have to do to earn it. A merciful God. While we deserve God's justice and his punishment, he chooses instead to look upon us with mercy. Aren't you thankful? Alpha. <clears throat> Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. And Omega is the last letter. Therefore, God is the A and Z. He is the beginning and the end and everything in between. He is all that we need. He is all that we need. It is the name of God that we need to call on. We need him and all that the character and attributes that he brings to us us. Humans first began calling on the name of the Lord in Genesis 4, verse 26. At that time, men began to call on the name of the Lord, Genesis 4, 26. When we call on God's name, it is more than using a moniker to address him. We are calling on his character. We are calling on his reputation we are calling on his attributes. We are calling on his power and his presence.
So then, calling on God, calling on his name entails more than just calling on a name like you call on somebody out, of, out on the street. Calling on God's name will give you the satisfaction of knowing that you are loved, that he hears us. Amen? And that he will respond to your call. And he has shown this to us throughout the whole beginning of the world. Amen? But the difference is when you call, you have to listen. You have to listen. Because how can you have a relationship with somebody if you don't listen and obey? I'm quite sure when you have a conversation with your wife, your husband, you listen, you obey. Amen. That's called a relationship. Amen. Amen. Let the truth say amen. I love you all.